Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Happy Independence Day to all my American friends. We're going to do your weekend reading, right? Starting right now, July 4th through, uh, let's see, the 8th. Yes, I will be back here on Monday. Don't forget. All right, let's take a look. Let's get into this. Smash that like button and do subscribe if you're new and you enjoy this reading. Um, and if you haven't hit that like button yet, you guys, get right to it and do it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. What's going on? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the energies for the weekend? Vacation. Somebody's traveling, right? I know not everybody here listening is in the United States. I know not <laughs> all of you have a 4th of July here. However, somebody does. And if you don't, you have a vacation happening. Going away, traveling somewhere, perhaps this weekend. You might already know about this. Um, or you might find out that, hey, maybe it's a road trip or going somewhere for the weekend. Maybe you'll find out tomorrow. Let's take a look here. Yep, there you go. Having a good old time. That's party. That's the party card. That's the party card. That's also the card of reunion. Hanging out with some friends, some siblings, uh, doing some fun stuff over this weekend. Let's see. This is all friendship. So... Um, celebrations, being with the, your soul tribe over this weekend. Maybe you're hosting a party. Look, there's family involved. Something's going on. <laughs> Something's going on. Okay, this weekend. Yep, looks like, um, well, Ten of Cups definitely represents happiness, family, total love, and support. A lot of support this weekend from y'all people. Hmm. All right, let's see two of pentacles oh somebody might be going on a cruise or near the water doing some fun water activities over this weekend if you're in a warm area some of you might be looking at your money as well or trying to i'm just going to say it weighing your options to see if um some of you might have like a lot of different plans <laughs> for this weekend. You might get invited out with friends. You might get, uh, there might be something going on with family or a partner or someone that you're with. Maybe making, this is a decision, weighing options, where to go, whether or not to go. Yeah, so let's see. Oh my gosh. Like I was thinking of this card <laughs> right before it came out here. Um You might be going to a wedding again, again. There is a huge connection here to family, friends, reunions, a homecoming, going home or inviting people over or somebody or some people coming to see you over the weekend. There's a celebration. It's like party time. Could be like trying to figure out where to have a party or where to host something or an outdoor event, perhaps. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it, this like the weekend just, it doesn't even matter if you're in the U S and you have a holiday or not. There's definitely an energy of, um, uh, some kind of reunion or some party atmosphere or celebrations over this weekend. Um, and also I'm getting some wedding vibes, engagement vibes. Um, Engage like a party, like in re in relation to a party. Why can't I talk today? I don't think you know what I got my Duncan. Thank you for everyone, by the way, donating to my coffee fund. I truly appreciate that. I got my Duncan, but I haven't finished it, and it's so hot, and I'm drinking hot coffee. But I'm loyal. I'm dedicated. All right. Is there anything else here Virgo needs to know? Oh gosh, totally an invitation. You're you're getting an invitation to go somewhere, or you are giving one. Or someone is inviting themselves to you, okay? So over this weekend, it doesn't have to be any particular day, but over this weekend, there's going to be some sweet communication. You might get invited to a barbecue or a, a wedding or to go somewhere with someone over the weekend. So, I mean, it's nice. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. Lots of love. There's, there's so much cup energy here. Three out of five. All right. I love it. This is the 1111. If you've been seeing 1111 a lot, um, 
this is your message okay what else does virgo need to know what else is going on for virgo's weekend okay you have manifest tell the universe exactly what you want all right working on some manifesting over this weekend as well okay some of y'all like bring me a good guy <laughs> Bring me a good guy. Bring me a good job. Make me CEO or partner or uh, manifesting a new, a higher position in your work. Okay. Yeah. So that pretty much is telling me that you're feeling trapped at your job. Some of you might be over this weekend really putting it out there, putting the energy out there, communicating. You might be over this weekend drawing up your resume or working on your plans. Um creating a mission statement for yourself and uh, a vision board or some goals, the things that you want or need to do to get into your boss energy. You might be sending out your resume, applying for jobs over this weekend so that maybe you can get some um, replies next week, right? Because you can always send them out over the weekend. Like That's kind of getting ahead of the game. Don't wait until Monday. If that's something you're doing, put it together. Whatever you got going on, I feel like communicate this weekend. Yeah, it's something to do with money, something that you want, uh, something that you're seeking to have to manifest, to create long term. This is really being focused and trying to turn your visions into reality and being inspired. Like this is leveling up energy. So definitely if you have some time this weekend, take a little time off um, or put a little time aside to work on the things that you start manifesting so that you can get some results for next week is there anything else here yep yeah it's all about money it's mostly all about money yep yep you might have a blockage to your money you're trying to release that blockage um in a lot of ways here yeah mostly feels like also a money situation career and finances here also on the weekend very important so if you get some paperwork you got to pay some bills you have some things that you need to do um you're doing some shopping looking at your finances applying for um some loans or mortgages or anything like that or selling a home or working on just working on some finances this weekend is really important i feel like to tell you also that you're going to get an offer you will whatever you send out um you're going to get a reply and i feel like it's going to be positive all right so you also have distance you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant over this weekend all right let's take a look and uh yesterday's reading if you guys didn't uh get a chance to see it go over and listen to that reading there's also an extended version with an outcome to that so go check that out all right you've got judgment hmm i'm sweating i should i gotta go turn the fan on oh virgo <laughs> well this distance is going to get closed you could have a there could be a connection between a scorpio and a virgo this distance is going to this distance will get closed. There's going to be some kind of opening up here. There might be a communication, a final decision, some clarity, a wake up call happening over this weekend. Uh, something to do with being hesitating in regards to this Knight of Wands energy, which represents lusty, free spirited type of energy here. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, like I said, distance is the gap is going to close this weekend. There's going to be a lot of communication. Cupid's arrows, hot to trot. Those wands represent passion. Um, somebody might not be, might be wondering why you're not, why there's distance. Um, and related to some lusty energy, I feel like that's either, either some, Two people. There's going to be closing of the gap. That eight of wands is Cupid's arrows. Uh, good news. Positive news. Positive messages. Okay, first court card, Queen of Cups. Like I said, there could be a, a water sign involved in this. So this distance is going to be 
closed. There's going to be there's going to be talking, messages, a lot of communication. Messages are going to come in like super super fast. Um, some action and some quick change. Some positive news arrives as well, and it might have something to do with somebody's finances or being single. You might somebody might tell you they're solo or they're single. There could be um, travel, wanting to connect with you over this weekend. Two people connecting like in the physical as well. Okay, good energy. So that's good news. And even as far as like physically distant, right, which we covered, the emotional distance, that gets filled in as well. All right, let's take a look. What else is going on here? All right, you have liar. Be careful if someone's sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> right? So we put a damper on the reading. What the hell? All right. Let's see. Who is this? Hmm. Somebody that has a kid. <sighs> yes. Yes, I know. It's the baby's going to get a sunburn. Sunburn baby on a unicorn. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. Someone who's being deceptive. It could be a Leo. Someone who's being deceptive is... Is coming out in the open. Coming out in the open. Somebody, uh, be careful of someone sneaky like stealing. Be careful of someone stealing. That's what they just said. Sneaking around your house. Or if you, okay, they just told me. If you have like, um, I don't know who I'm talking to here, but if you're a Virgo who is putting up a tent over the weekend for some kind of craft sale or any kind of sale right you're selling something outside or you're doing something outside be careful um, of someone stealing from your money drawer or taking some products right um, you might actually also another message you might be out over this weekend somewhere in like out in the sun shopping or doing something and you might actually see someone steal too i don't know why you need to hear that but maybe you're gonna like chase them down the road for you know chase after them or call the cops although in this day and age cops don't even come anymore everybody's stealing left right and center right um i feel like this is a strong message it's gonna be out in the open okay yeah somebody's gonna somebody's gonna try it's, it's two people with a child Two people with a child. So there's some theft and some lies and deception. Two people with a child. That's what they're telling me. I, and no, it's not somebody's going to steal a baby. You, but I will say, you might see something or hear something on the news. Like an amber alert, right? Because I'm looking at the sun and that's giving me some amber vibes here. There might be an amber alert. I don't feel like it's yours. Don't worry about it. Um... I don't feel like that's the energy. You could just simply be hanging out this weekend watching a crime documentary and that's what it's about. And you're like, damn. And listen, I have to say that because I'm always watching that stuff. <laughs> and, you know, so for me, if I were on your end and I was listening to me tell a reading and I heard that, I'd be like, oh, nobody's stealing from me. This is the show. I'm the show I just watched or show I'm about to watch. Like, you never know what tarot. Not everything is personalized towards you, right? You got to have a very open, broad mind in regards to tarot readings, okay? Because sometimes people get so worried, like, oh my God, what's going to happen to me? No, 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 no. It's, it could just be something on the news, right? So take things with a grain of salt. Take it easy, right? Take it easy. Just when you get a, when you get a message like this, it just means uh, pay attention, okay? yeah okay but i but it so that's just a small thing but i do feel like somebody is somebody's out this weekend okay no your partner is not cheating and lying i don't feel that energy at all if you have someone um somebody's out look you're at the, you're at a craft table or something you're out there maybe like performance or selling some products right here's the justice De department of defense i don't know the justice department the dog the police doj Reporting to the police. That's what I feel like that's going on. Okay, leaving that alone. I'm leaving I'm leaving that right there. Let's let's move on. <laughs> okay, let's see. Keep your doors locked. <clears throat> All right, challenges. You got make a decision, work on inner healing. Hmm. 
somebody might be doing some like i'm just looking at this and i feel like you might be at the gym right pushing one of them gigantic tractor tires it might be a real challenge or you're pushing one of those um oh what the hell are they called i always push those things when i'm at the gym i forget what they're called they're like it's like a metal four-legged metal i forget what it's called my brain i tell you 55 this year you guys and I swear I'm losing my short-term memory. If you know what that thing is called at the gym, if you have one, feel free to leave it in the, uh, you know, you push it. It's real heavy. Anyway, okay. So that, that might be, you might be in some kind of challenge over this weekend too. I think the, somebody, the, there was just like a hot dog challenge. You might be doing something over this weekend, running a marathon or in some kind of contest. Okay, again, the Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I just heard somebody's working this weekend. And it's the weather's like, ugh, sticky and hot. Or just, just brutally hot. Hold on a minute. Or somebody, so Virgo, you might be upset if you have to work over this weekend. You might be searching for someone to, to cover for you. It's a real challenge to try to find someone, especially if you're in the U.S. because there might be like a holiday. People don't want to work on the holiday, okay? Um, something might come up. You might not just get enough sleep or you don't feel good or maybe you get a hangover if you were drinking. Could have been, yeah, <laughs> right when I said that. Oh, yeah, you just spilled too many cups of wine there, Virg. What are you doing? All right, that's that's the strongest message I'm getting. Um, somebody's, so you could be calling out um, or f trying to find a replacement or just not going in, um, or somebody might be calling you to come and work this weekend. So listen, right? Here's the Hierophant that represents corporations, buildings, um, work, a bank, could be anything like a, like a, like a building, could be retail, anything like that. Um, I just saw the Three of Pentacles, which represents apprenticeship. You might have to do a school thing over the weekend as well, <clears throat> even though most places school's out, but might be, you might have to go in, you might not be able to. Real challenge. I feel like it's going to be a struggle for you to find somebody um, to work for you. Um, the message I'm getting is uh, find somebody who is like new on the job or young and um, You'd be saving them any trouble over this weekend if you find a young person. Okay. I don't know who that applies to. I know some of you are like, nope, that's not for me. But either way, it feels like, or somebody might be calling you, like I said, but I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it just kind of feels like there's some kind of challenge here in regards to work over this weekend or a challenge trying to get the weekend off. Okay. Let's see. What else? You have let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. All right. We like it. Oh, look. You got the lovers here. It's a love connection. A new love connection. Well, it could be a Gemini for some of you. But this is like um, two people coming together in partnership. Oh, you have the King of Cups here. Could be a um, water sign as well. Let's go. Let, let's go. I just, they just, somebody just, yep, yeah, I just heard let's go. Well, because maybe because I'm looking at that, but it just came right out. They mean it. Spirit's saying, no, 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 that was us saying that. Let's go. Let's go. This person's like, let's, let's go. This King of Cups. Come on, let's go. We're going to do this. Let's be together. It's time for change. Oh. Oh, wow, Virgo. Wheel of Fortune. This is amazing. What's going on here? There's something happening. Some change. A turning point. Some good luck. Some of you might be going somewhere over the weekend to maybe go gambling or something. You're going to hit big. Yep. Somebody's going to hit big here. 
You got the death card. Yep, I'm hearing that. Let's go. Come on. We're done with this. Let's go. We're going to be together, right? So you might be connecting with somebody new over this weekend who's a water sign or a Gemini or Aquarius, right? Could be a Scorpio. Could also be a Leo. Could be a Taurus. Um, all major arcana. This is true. So open up your uh, schedule a little bit here, Virgo. <laughs> There's a beautiful love connection. It could just, like, two people might just be going swimming somewhere traveling together but i do feel like there is someone here who's saying to you come on let's go let's go i don't know what that means like if it means like actually come on you're in the bathroom too long doing your hair let's go or it's time to go it's time to uh, make some room for someone new coming in i'm feeling like a real someone's taking a risk with you here with this full energy. Don't want to think about it. I'm hearing. They're saying, let's go. There's no time to think. There's no time to waste. Let's not think about it. We're done. Let's move on. Come on. Let's go. So I don't know who's saying that. Could be this person saying it to you. Take a chance on me. I just heard take a chance on me. Okay. This is a very interesting weekend for you, Virgo. Um, so over on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, I will be uploading tonight Libra. So if you want to go check that out, definitely go check that out. Okay, let's see. What else do you have? Detach with love to clearly see the truth. There's a true love emotionally, physically, and unconditionally uh, aspect to a relationship here. Somebody truly loves you. Try something you've never done before. Hmm. All right. There's been some time apart. And I did say, you know, there's some distance that's bringing clarity to two people. And there is going to be like a, a, a reunion or um, a closing of the gap is what I hear. All right. That's beautiful. Also, you have soulmate. Yep. There's a, again, soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. There's unconditional love here. For sure. Someone's so in love with you. Like, truly, truly loves you. All right. Chinese signs. Let's see what the Chinese signs are for you and or your person. If I don't call your Chinese sign, it's fine. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. All right. So we've got Year of the Rat, Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Horse, Year of the Dog. Year of the monkey, year of the goat, year of the rooster, and year of the pig. All right. Charms, dates, all that good stuff. Sagittarius, Aries, and double Libra showing up here. Okay. Significant to you. All right. So, November, significant month. March, significant month. Could be somebody's birth months. September 4th, September 5th. September 21st. September 13th. September 9th. Someone's 56. We have 64. 1989. August 29th. 1978, 1967, someone's 41, someone's 50, 1981, someone's 38, someone's 32. Okay. Oma. What does Oma mean? O -M -O -M -A. O-M-A. Oma. Okay. Somebody is Jewish of the Jewish religion. Hey, Jude. Okay. D-E-W. Direct energy weapons. Holla. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Someone's doing their homework this weekend. <laughs> Maybe you're in school. There's some homework going on. Um, okay. Jazz. Listening to some jazz music. Or somebody's name is J.C. 
I feel like I'm getting similar message messages to yesterday, which is really so we have Edward or Edwin. Someone's last name is Daw or Dawn. D A W Daw Dawes. Okay. Someone's hiring a maid this weekend. Do some work. Oh, we got Jaws. Hey, if you're swimming in the ocean, watch out for those sharks. Watch out for those rip currents. I know we have like, wherever you are in the world, I don't know, the, in the southern portion, southern hemisphere, we get the big hurricane coming up. Uh, Sam, Sammy, Samo. <clears throat> Somebody's watching the movie Saw. Yee Yeeks. Did I say 32? I think I did. Um, Wissahickon, I just heard. Amir, someone's name is Amir. Um, there's gonna, somebody's a DJ? It's gonna be DJ in this weekend? Or there's a DJ at a party? DJ might be your new love. <laughs> uh, definitely some swimming going on here. Maybe you already swam. Okay, Aiden. Somebody's name is Aiden. Joe, Joseph, John, Joey. Let me give it a little more of a shuffle. Okay, Louisiana or Los Angeles. Okay, Kiki. Someone's name is Kiki or Kiki and Kiki Kiki and I don't know what that means. <laughs> I hope it's not a bad thing. Keo. Ken. Uh, somebody's getting their toes done or hurt their toe. Lance. Picking up the name Lance. Benjamin or Benny. Guy. Someone's name is Guy. Is that? Okay. Oh, that's an N. Okay. Kean. Kean? Or Kine? Last name is Kine. Okay. Somebody's having a boy. Somebody is having a boy. Bonnie. Somebody's name is Bonnie. Uh, Beck. B E C K, like Beck. Albert, AJ, Albert or Alan. Okay, let's move on to the charms. I'm just giving you three. All right. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So you got a ship's wheel, and you also have an airplane. So th there's big time travel vibes this weekend, you guys. Big time travel travel vibes. Somebody might be flying over this weekend, or going on a cruise, or on a boat, or on a yacht over this weekend. Coming in or leaving, definitely the energy of travel. I can say that's just confirmation. All right, and you also have a Dalmatian. So. Somebody here might have a Dalmatian doggy, you know, with all the spots. There you go. Hope you can see it. Dalmatian doggy. Um, that can represent. All right. So be careful. Um, if you're celebrating the 4th of July, Independence Day, um, there might be some. Uh, obviously, there will be. The fire department will be on high alert this weekend. Um, I do feel like. A lot of social services will be on high this on high alert this weekend um, in America. Um, but that Dalmatian is definitely giving me firefighter vibes, fire department vibes. And it's not out of the blue. It's not a fear. It's not a worry because it is, there's fireworks in a lot of places still. Some places aren't having them. If you're having them, make sure your hose is ready to go. Make sure you got lots of water. Make sure the grass is moist or wherever you're doing it. 
and just that you stay safe. I feel like you're going to be safe. I feel like you're, you're going to be okay. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled. Um, if you're not in the U.S. and you're not celebrating, because you don't, um, there just might be a connection here to a Dalmatian type of a dog. You might just see one if you're out and about over the weekend, which is really just a qualifier that this would be your reading. And even uh, you might just see one on television, remember, or just a picture of someone, of one somewhere. Okay, just keep that in mind. I think last week I said something, um, there was a charm and something that was very odd that I saw in the charm. And when I went to the store, I saw a key ring with it was a key ring and it had some kind of weird looking um something on it it had something on it that i said in a reading last week and i was like oh oh no it was a rhinoceros that's what it was remember i had a rhino and then i was on youtube and there was this immediately just popped right up was um like a documentary on how they take rhinos and they kill them for their um whatever, I guess, I don't know if they have ivory, whatever, they, they, you know, they do that to the elephants and stuff. And it just popped right up. So that's what I'm talking about, you know? You might not actually, it, if you see something that I call out in the charms here, um, it's your reading. It's all I'm saying. If it's just out of the blue and it triggers your memory here about what I talk about here, this is your reading. So, with that being said, I'm gonna let you go. Hope you guys have a fantastic, awesome, holiday weekend i will be on my other channel uploading libra for thursday scorpio will be on friday and sagittarius will be on sunday and capricorn i'm sorry let me say it again thursday libra friday scorpio saturday sagittarius capricorn sunday okay so keep your eyes peeled for those videos if you're interested in oh well, i guess if you're a cross watcher I don't recommend cross watching, but you do what you need to do. Um, but if you have any of those signs in your chart somewhere, you could always go over to my other channel. The link is in the description box below. It's also in the chat, Moon Pie Tarot. And you can go over there and listen to those readings as well. So, all right, you guys, stay safe. Have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you all back here on Monday. All right, take care. <music>